Good morning, Trinity kids. Guess who I am? I am a ninja. I am so excited to be with each and every one of you this morning. Make sure that you guys put your name in the comments below so that I can say hi to you. For the next four weeks, we will be in God's Word learning about ninja wisdom. Isn't God, this is going to be exciting, you guys. And so for the next four weeks, we're going to dive into God's Word and really dig out God's wisdom for each and every one of us because we all need wisdom, right? So kids, as we get going, you know how I love to start off, and that is worth with, that is with a word of prayer. And so let's go ahead and just praise God today and thank Him for the wisdom that He's given us. Dear Heavenly Father, we just want to thank you for today. Thank you, Lord, um, for all the things that you um, provide to us, like wisdom, Lord. I'm thankful that you've given us wisdom so that we can understand, and you've given us the book of Proverbs so that we can read it and so that we can find wisdom in your words. So Lord, we praise your name today. We are so thankful that we are together today today in maybe a different way of me being here and the kids being home. But Lord, um, we, we welcome you today and we are so glad to be here with you. In your name we pray, amen, amen. Well, kids, you know how I like to also start our day, and that is worshiping. So kids, stand up. Let's get moving this morning and really praising God and lifting your hands up really high and just worshiping God. Peyton, take it away. Great job, Peyton. Is Jesus your superhero, kids? I sure hope so, because he sure is my superhero. Well, you know what we're going to do next? We're going to check in with Bella and Joey to see what these two are up to. Bella and Joey, take it away. Here's Joey. Good morning, Trini kids. How are you today? Hey, kids. Do you like our ninja mask? 
Bella, I love being a mid ninja. I remember one year for Halloween I dressed up as one. I'm so excited for Pastor Sally's new series, Bible Ninja! Me too! Bella, do you know the way of the ninja is not an easy one? It takes much practice and discipline, but it is a journey well worth the patience and time. So are ninjas wise, Joey? When you become one, yes! And you will get to use cool stuff like throwing stars and nunchucks. What are those things that you speak of? Bella, don't worry about those things yet. Patience, Bella. Okay, so I need patience and be calm. Yep, ninjas are quick to move and quick to strike, but slow to speak. A ninja moves quickly after wisdom, not anger. Not anger. So, do you have to be calm to be a ninja? Yes, you have to be calm too. So I need patience, and I need patience, and I need patience, and I need to be calm. Yep, you got it. Okay, okay. It's very hard to wait for someone or for something to happen and wait to go somewhere or take your turn when playing a game. You are right, Bella. Being patient is not easy. Every day we're faced with situations where we need to be patient. A lot of the time, these situations are out of our control. We can't make it happen just because we want it right now. We all need to learn to wait and wait patiently without grumbling. No grumbling. So, if we all could just think of others and put their wants and needs before what we want, then we will develop more patience, Joey. You are right, Bella. Can I pray for us today? Yes. Lord, I know that I'm not patient. Those times I need to wait, please help me not to start to grumble when I don't get it right away. Amen. Amen, Joey. Well, kids, it's bye for now. Practice having patience and keep working on your ninja moves. Ninja moves! Do, 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 do. Bye bye for now, kids! Oh, Joey and Bella, they are the cutest, the cutest ninja get little guys, aren't they? Okay, so Bella and Joey, they are going to be our ninja ninjas during this Bible series. So they're going to teach us new things each week too, and I'm so excited to have them be a part of our lesson time too. Well, kids, it's question time. It's question time. But the only way the question time is going to be able to work is if you are involved in the question and answer it. And so what's going to happen is I'm going to ask a question and you guys are going to do, 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 you're going to type your answer so that we can we can talk to each other and see what each other's answers are. So, the big question is for today what would be the best part of being a ninja? Ready, set, go. Now, right, type in your answer. What do you think? What would be the best part of being a ninja? What would it be? Type it out. Let me hear what you're saying. I know I can't, you guys can't, we can't be together, but let's uh, just try communicating together by typing. So type out your answers and let me see what you guys think would be the best part. Well, let me give you my answer. My answer is I think the best part of being a ninja would be do, 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 is being able to do all these really full, cool moves that ninjas do, like kicking and things. And for me, not getting hurt, like doing those really big kicks and not falling. So that I think would be the coolest part. I think that would be really cool. But I can't wait to see what you guys are typing out. All right. Well, are you guys ready to see some really cool ninja moves? Well, I've got a video I'm going to be showing today um, that I've, I've got uh, Malachi and Eli, and they are going to show us some of their ninja moves. And kids, throughout this entire series, I want you guys to videotape your ninja moves so that we can load them up and so we can watch you do your ninja moves. So kids, let's check out Eli and Malachi. I'm a ninja, you're a ninja. He's a ninja, she's a ninja. Would you like to be a ninja too? 
Ninja ing is fun, you dress up really cool. When evil approaches, you know what to do. Ninja got a sword, but he don't like to use it. Offer ninja peace, he'll never refuse it. Great job, great job, guys. That was so cool. I loved seeing the ninja moves. Very, very cool. So, kids, it's time to get going and get started with our new Bible series, Bible Ninja. But I've got another question for you. What, what do you think of when you hear the word ninja? I want to hear what your comments are. Go ahead and type them in. I would love to hear what it is. But before we get started with our lesson, you know what we got to do, and that is pray and invite God into our space. So let's go ahead and pray. Dear Heavenly Father, I am so thankful for today. I am so thankful, Lord, that you are here with us, Lord. I am thankful, Lord, that we get to dive into your word today to um, find wisdom in the book of Proverbs. And so, Lord, be with us. Um, Lord, be with our kids as they are hearing uh, your word. Lord, I pray that you would speak into each and every one of our kids today. In your holy name we pray, amen. Amen. All right. So kids, we've got a new verse to learn. We've got a new series, so that means a new verse. And Adeline has got our verse for the day. Hi, Trinity Day kids. It's Adeline. I'm going to be sharing the Bible verse with you. Having respect for the Lord leads to life. Then you will be content and free from trouble. Proverbs 19, 23. Have a good day. Bye. Nice job, Adeline. Nice job. Well, kids, Adeline shared the verse with us. Now it's time to get it in our heart, and we've got to really start practicing this scene, this one. It's a new one. So this verse comes from Proverbs 19, uh, verse, uh, chapter 19, verse 23. Having respect for the Lord leads to life. That's powerful. Then you will be content and free from trouble. Let's read that one more time and really, really get that, that verse in our heart. Having respect for the Lord leads to life. Then you will be content and free from trouble. Now that is a great word for us today. And that comes from Proverbs chapter 19, verse 23. I love that. That is a great, great verse for us today. Well, kids, we also want to talk about our um, objective today and really what the bottom line is that we're going to be learning today. So the objective is, is kids, you will make a plan to stop, to stop and keep them and keep yourselves um, from being quick to make wrong choices. We do not want to make wrong choices, right? And then the bottom line is, kids, be righteous and do not rush into anger. Okay, let me tell you, let me say that one more time. We, um, the bottom line is going to be that um, we're going to learn about righteousness and how we do not want to rush into being angry. All right. So let's get going. E well, we are ready to start. So guess what? I've got another question for you. Are you ready? <laughs> what do you think of when you hear the word ninja? What do you think of it? Did you guys, did you guys answer it earlier? Did you? Okay. I want to make sure that you guys answer that because I want to see those answers. There it is. Okay. So when you think about ninja, it probably um, also depends on what kind of ninja, right? Uh, we've got all different kinds of ninjas. We've got cartoon ninjas. We've got comic book ninjas. We've got TV show ninjas. And we just have regular old superheroes um, that, that, are, are, that are ninjas too. So have you guys ever heard of the, nin the Ninja Turtles? Do you guys remember those? Here are those guys. There was four of them. My boys, Zachary and Jack, loved watching this show. And uh, they were, I, I always remembered like at Halloween, um, kids would dress up as um, all the different characters. Now there's four of them. Uh, we've got four guys that are ninja, ninjas, ninja guys. They are Raphael, 
Michelangelo, Leonardo, and uh, I can't remember the last one. I can't remember. And I don't remember the colors, the color. I know that the, there's a color. Their color um, mask goes with their name too. But those were the Ninja Turtles. Um, and then we just have like just regular ninjas that dress in all black too. Check out this ninja. Uh, just dressing up. On, I tried to be a ninja today. I tried to dress up all in black. I didn't bring my mask. Though. I'll try that next week though with, with you guys. Um, and that's just sort of like the traditional ninja. This that black outfit. Ninjas carry everything from like those throwing stars to, to swords and they move really quickly, like really, really quickly. And, and at nighttime, oh, they are very careful because they're usually on very secret missions. And so they have to be very quiet. Ninjas, they are cool, aren't they? They are super cool. So why? Why? Why are they so cool? Well, they are secretive. They are mysterious. They move with stealth. They climb up walls. They slip in and out of buildings without ever being noticed. Oh, and they wear the coolest masks. Even though it's just a small little little strip of material. It's all different colors or it's just really cool. And um, they hide in the shadows and their work is very secret because they are usually on a mission. That is why being a ninja is so, so cool. So, so cool. I love it. So, um, the next slide, wisdom. There's another word that came to my mind when we think of ninjas, and that is wisdom. Like all warriors from the far east, I mean really far, far east, ninjas are trained to be wise and patient. Yes, patience. And to consider all the options to make the best choices. They've got to make the best choices because one wrong choice could wipe out the entire mission. Ninjas may move quickly and strike quickly, but they don't always act quickly. Remember, they have to be quiet. They have to be very strategic with all of their moves. They know all of their options and they have to consider all of those options because making the wrong choice, there is a consequence to that wrong choice. And they have to make the wise choice so that they can fulfill the mission, the mission that they have. For the next four weeks, kids, we are going to be talking and looking at one particular book this entire time. And that book in the Bible is Proverbs. We are going to be digging into the book of Proverbs. It is a book in the Old Testament. So kids, are you guys ready to jump into God's Word today, grab your adventure Bibles, and we are going to get going today. Um, so, with a little help from our wise and dangerous ninjas, we're going to learn how to make wise choices, wise choices for ourselves. And today, we're going to see that we have choices. And these choices, when we make them, they can be either wise or foolish, wise or foolish. And we're going to see that God has already shown us the right path to follow. That's right. God has already shown us the right path. We're going to dive into that. So let's jump into, um, into Proverbs chapter 14, and we're going to read verses 17 through 19. And when you open up your Bible, you're going to turn to page 7. One, two. Proverbs is in the Old Testament and it's right after the book of Psalms. So here we go. Chapter 14, verse 7. Stay away from a fool, for you will not find knowledge on their lips. Hmm. The wisdom of the prudent is to give thought to their ways, but the folly of fools is deception. Fools mocked at masking amends for sin, but goodwill is found among the upright. Each heart notes it knows its own bitterness, and no one else can share its joy. The house of the wicked will be destroyed, but the tent of the upright will flourish. There is a way that appears to be right, but in the end, it leads to death. Even in laughter, the heart may ache, and rejoicing may end in grief. 
The faithless will be fully repaid for their ways and the good rewarded for theirs. The simple believe the simple believe anything, but the prudent give thought to their steps. The wise fear the Lord and stun evil, but a fool is hot-headed and yet feels secure. A quick-tempered person does foolish things. And the one who devices evil schemes is hated. The simple inherit folly, but the prudent are crowned with knowledge. Evildoers will bow down in the presence of the good and the wicked at the gates of the righteous. And that is Proverbs 14 verses 7 through 19. And that is God's word today. So let me give you a few quick of some Bible ninja facts today. So we just read scripture from the book of Proverbs. And Proverbs is authored by King Solomon. Yes, we talked about King Solomon in the last series. And King Solomon, do you remember who his dad is? Oh, his dad is King David. That's right. And when uh, king, when King Solomon became king, um, God gifted him with wisdom. And so the, the book of Proverbs is a book all about Proverbs. And you know the coolest thing about the book of Proverbs? A lot of people, a lot of people often use the Proverbs as a book to read in one month because the Proverbs has exactly, and most months do have exactly 31 days. So you can finish the entire book of Proverbs in one month if you just read one chapter a day. And that, kids, is my challenge to each and every one of you as we begin this series. So Solomon knew that we all have choices, right? We all have choices. And we can choose either to be foolish or righteous. Solomon wanted to urge his listeners to choose righteousness. Yes, we need to choose righteousness. What is righteousness? Well, right thinking, right speaking, and right behavior. For example, kids, is lying right? Mm, no, it's wrong. Is bullying right? No, it's wrong too. When our behaviors do not line up with God's righteousness, then what are we probably doing, kids? We're probably sinning, right? We're probably sinning. Solomon reminds us that people who choose the foolish ways of the world do not recognize that they are even fools. They laugh and mock people who chooses God's way. But verse 12 makes it very, very clear. There is a path that seems right to a man that ends in destruction. If we follow our own nature to be and our sinful ways, that road will definitely lead us to destruction. If we choose righteousness, we will find new life. New life, kids. Foolish thinkers are quick to choose the wrong way. The wrong way. They are quick to speak. They are definitely quick to get anger, angry. And they are quick to make wrong choices. God wants us to listen. He wants us to listen to Solomon's words and God's word. He wants us to choose righteousness. Righteousness. Righteousness is not just being right, kids. It is being right with God. With God. It means we are his wise people. It means we make wise choices. It means that we are being honest. We are being honest when we make the right choices. And it also means to obey God. God asks us, asks us to obey him, doesn't he? And God's word, oh, it is so powerful. God, he loves us so much, so much, you guys. Righteous people are like ninjas because they never lose their focus. And we, as God's righteous people, we 
never should lose focus on our heavenly father. Never, ever, ever. Never, ever. Being a ninja, being a ninja is, there are lots of things to it. But when we are righteous with God, we need to make the right choices. Focus on him. We don't get distracted by things of the world when we are right with God. The distractions, God will just throw them aside. We don't rush into making foolish choices when we are walking with God. No, we do not. When we are in God's word, those foolish mistakes, God is equipping us each and every day to stay strong and to stay with him. We are also going to be slow in our speak, speech so that we don't get angry right away, right? God will do that. I am so thankful. I am so thankful. Solomon reminds us that as righteous people, we can expect others to mock us. That is for sure. That is going to happen, kids. It just is going to happen. They may make fun of us for obeying God and not going with the crowd. So let me give you an example of this. Maybe some of your friends like to use words that are probably just not nice words. And sometimes we call them cuss words. And so by hanging around that particular person, sometimes that person is is wanting us to start using their language. Their bad influence starts to influence us and we start doing the things that they're doing. But you see, when we are with God and God strengthens us, you know what? Our words that God gives us will influence them because our kindness is just like water. It will just keep on flushing out of us. When we use kind words, when we use loving words, those are words that God will just be so proud of you when you use those words. Don't let the world influence you. Let God influence you. Let God's words influence the world. That's how we can make a difference, you guys. Trust me, your right words will start rubbing off on them. If there's no doubt in my mind, stay true. Stay true to God's words, kids. Just stay true to his words and you are going to be okay. There is a sure sign we have made right choices and it should be very evident to us when we feel God's strength in us and we feel so strong with him. Kids, keep trusting God and keep trusting God's word. Don't be quick to anger. Don't be selfish and don't be foolish. Ask God to make you a wise Bible ninja. Ask him. It's just an easy question. And ask him to help you become righteous. Well, kids, as we begin to close today, I want to invite our friend Parker to close us out with our benediction. So could you guys stand and and receive the benediction? Hey, guys. Hope you're having a fantastic weekend. And may you hold your hands and receive this blessing. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord turn his face towards you and give you peace. In the name of Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen, amen. You are sent. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Parker. Well, parents, I want to close out by just reminding you to head on over to the Trinity uh, website at www.trinitynazarene.org and, head, and click on resources and there you can download our Make It Stick uh, conversation sheet. It is a great uh, sheet to uh, reflect on today's lesson throughout the week and continue a great conversation with your kids. Uh, we've, got, we've got amazing kids out there that um, they, they, are still, they still need to be discipled. And parents, um, this sheet will help you come alongside of your children during the week. I have one thing to just remind you guys of, and that is tonight. Tonight, we are having a service at 7 o'clock. Come join us. Bring your lawn chair. Bring, um, uh, if you want to bring an umbrella, if it's going to be, I think it's probably going to be probably a little warm. But we are going to have a great night uh, worshiping God and celebrating. I'd love to say hi to all of you. Come on out, 7 o'clock, Trinity, 1451 Raymond Drive. We'll see you tonight. If not, I'll see you back here next Sunday at 10 a.m. God bless you. Have a great week, kids.